Hey everyone, Optimus Wilbur here, and this video is not suitable for children under the age of 13. This is aimed at young collectors and adult collectors. Let's start the video. Welcome everyone back to another Optimus Wilbur reviews, and if you want to make Baby Grimlock happy, why not hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share it amongst your Transformer friends. These help the channel out so much. And today it is Siege Apeface. This is the character I kind of took the chance on. I wasn't really fussed when he got announced. Uh, if you remember, we only got like a headmaster back in the Power of the Primes. But now we've got like a proper figure, one half of the Horicons. With Snapdragon on its way in Earth Rise, I thought I'd take a chance and I'm actually quite happy I did. The figure kind of grew over me with the colour scheme and just the way it looks and transforms. It is a cool figure, triple changer as we know, and a headmaster. And I feel the headmaster aspect is a lot better than the Titan's Return. Um the way it locks in, locking system than the Titans Return because it doesn't feel like it's going to break when you're trying to take the, the Headmaster off. Zooming in, let's look at some of the details of this magnificent creature. The paint is one thing I love. I love the Decepticon purple and even the battle damage up here. I think that's a nice touch to it. The pink I don't mind, or the fuchsia, whatever way you want to call it, whatever colour that is. But the legs, I kind of dig. I do like the battle damage look. And it just continues with the entire bot. Articulation with the guy is really good. We take off this wing, which of course is a part of the transformation. Arms can both go that way. The head can only turn like left, right. It can go all the way around if you want. Um, but it can't look up and down because then you're taking out the headmaster. Uh, legs can go up, can bend at the knee. They can go round like that, but it's just mostly because of the transformation. It's kind of stuck in that position. Feet at the bottom can do that little pose where you can just break out the joints. There is no way swivel because of the transformation. Again, it is pretty lock solid right there. Of course, we know he transforms an ape face and a jet, so that is pretty cool. And I can't wait to see Snapdragon when he's adding air fries, what he's going to look like next to him. He's average height for the Voyager class, so he's roughly the same size as Siege Starscream. I've not got really any other comparisons, but I'll bring in Optimus from air fries. Just because he's waiting on his decal, so that gives you a rough idea of the height if you're going with the heads. And that's that. Speaking of which, if we start with the Headmaster when we're going into transformations. Same as usual. Just flips down. But the detail is not bad. It's kind of like the old Headmasters in a way. The arms can come out. Like so. And there you go. I don't know if this is one of toy hacks. I might. I'll see how I feel down the line. Uh, but I'm not in any rush just now. But he is pretty cool. I do like him. So let's get this part into one of the modes. In the first transformation for Ape Face, in Ape Mode, it's not tough to get into the the way the transformation works because you kind of can convert them from robot to the ape to the jet. But one thing you're going to find, especially with the ape mode, the body does like to break off and it's kind of round about here for flipping flip them over. The way the, the legs clip in, because these are open and join the, join the body here, they just kind of click on there and a part where the jet forms up in the top and any movement my one likes to like come apart round about those bits so as you can see there this part came loose right away that could just be my one i don't know if everybody's does it the head can swivel round and of course you can see the headmaster is in 
you put the gun at the top and then you can put that other part of the jet mode on the back but this is mostly for show but i do like i do like the look of it i think that's a cool looking like transformer the paint scheme again just that decepticon purple the white that pearlescent white i just love it just finishes the robot off and this is mostly for show this one unfortunately it's not a practical transformation because again any slight movement he is going to come apart which is a downside to that when mostly that's what ape face is remembered for um being in that mode and unfortunately he can't really stay in it if it's like being used for a toy because it will come apart so that being said let's now convert him into jet and finish up the video and here is ape face in jet mode and i like this mode i really do like it the battle damage in the front of the jet is quite nice i like the way it breaks up just that pink there but mostly the transformation is you're just hooking back the legs just to form the transformation if i come up to the top and just take this away you can see the headmaster is now housed in here so he's just hiding neatly away in there and then you just put this part here and that covers that up like so the front give you a heads up now for the gun it's meant to be placed here okay so it's like that you're away from like sort of the ape face so to speak but mines doesn't like to stay in as good it's quite loose i might have to put a little bit of clear nail varnish in it but i can fit it in the one behind it and it sits okay it's not practical but at least does the job and this mode seems to house everything better in the sense nothing really likes to come apart up the top and the same with the legs down here it's not like when he's in the actual ape mode where the body just wants to just pull itself apart size comparison for this i think the easiest one to show off would be siege megatron and that gives you a rough idea of the size and you can clearly see he is toy hacks he is one of the bots that's toy hacks and i'm actually waiting on the upgrade parts come for him uh so that's how he's not been shown at all and he will he'll be soon he'll be soon i'm going to get a, give it a bit of another week um for the parts hopefully they'll show but overall ape face is quite a unique character in the sense of what he was like in the the headmaster series and to have snapdragon coming and like so the horror cons are going to be together once again i'm looking forward to that side the bot itself i took a chance and i was quite happy with it and i'd say the same to you guys if you overlooked this one um i'd get them if you can reduce i wouldn't pay full price but he is a unique siege character and it's good to have like an r triple changer in that siege line and finally for a decepticon which i was kind of lacking and i've got a lot of autobots in that siege line but i have uh, an r decepticon is quite happy to add one to collection to so i do recommend them if you can pick them up now because i keep saying in all the videos we'll have to wait and see we'll just wait and see okay but in the meantime let's bring in a couple of reviews i've always wanted to do and it's from transformers rid 2001 and why not bring in fire convoy or of course optimus prime but as the fire truck one of my favorite takes on optimus prime this guy is just huge and i've been desperate to find a time to review him and i think i've got the perfect time while waiting for stuff to show up so guys he will be in the next review it's going to be a free parter because we've got him we've got ultra magnus and of course they combine into omega prime so guys i will see you in the next optimus wilbert reviews as always please keep safe and your families as well <laughs> Thank you for everyone who tuned in today's video. If you want to make baby Grimlock happy, why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. All new videos are always coming right here in Optimus Wilbur Reviews. If you'd like to follow me in 
any of my social media links. All the descriptions are in the description box below. And of course, as always, I cannot stress this enough. I wish to thank Cybertron Spree for allowing me to use their song Cybertronic Warrior as the theme of this channel. Guys, this is an incredible band that does incredible covers and recently just done an amazing album of the Transformers 1986 movie soundtrack. Please follow them and all their social media links. I have every description in the description box below. Please check them out and as always Transformer fans, till all are one.